back at work now as uh, an interpreter at the legislature after recovering from COVID-19. He was double vaccinated. Tom Unka is sharing his story and his COVID journey in hopes that it might encourage other people to take steps to protect themselves. Tom joins us now on the line. Good morning to you, Tom. Uh, good morning. Now, thanks very much for doing this. Really appreciate it. How are you doing this morning, by the way? I'm doing fine. Just, just, just fine right now. Is your is your recovery from COVID like your physical recovery a hundred percent? I believe so. You know, I, I, I when, when when I got sick there, I, I was quite concerned, but um, I, uh, I I took care of it. So I, I don't feel I never had any symptoms or anything during my whole ordeal with that that COVID sickness there. Uh, so I was very fortunate that way. Oh, is that right? You you didn't uh, you didn't suffer uh, you know the potential symptoms too badly. I absolutely nothing actually. I I uh, I went home to uh, they were going to isolate me here when I first uh, heard uh, I had contracted uh, the COVID. So I made an isolation plan to go home to my herbal medicines, and and uh, they okayed me uh, to go home and isolate at home. So that is exactly what I did, and. Uh, uh, I, uh, I I started using my herbal medicines, and uh, I, I've never had any symptoms at all during the whole ordeal. Hmm. I'm happy to hear that. I have uh, uh, I I plucked a quote uh, a quote of you that uh, your daughter Magnolia shared. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'm reading your words back to you, but I wanted to t- chat about it. Uh, you, you say, my grandfather prepared me for this 50 years ago and it's working. I feel better than when I first got back. I told the virus spirit that I was going to fight him with the land, which I did. I came from the land and it will cure me. Wow. Yeah. Well, it was, uh, it was in 1965 when I was 15 years old. My grandfather and I were having lunch there and uh, he told me that in my lifetime, not in his lifetime, he experienced one flu epidemic before, and it killed, um, you know, predominantly almost 90% of my family. Um, that that Spanish flu in 1927 when it uh, came up here. So I was. Uh, my grandfather told me that in my lifetime there was going to be a pandemic and to be prepared for it, and he told me which herbal. Uh, medicine to use and and I had them on hand all the time and then when the pandemic broke out I was I was kind of prepared for it and in case I did uh, get sick from it yeah so um what you know I'm glad to hear you didn't physically suffer I did I did get from the story that I saw shared on on online on social media on Facebook that uh it was sort of a a you know, the worst of it was loneliness or boredom. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, it is. You know, when you're isolating a home at, at home, you know, if you could see all the people walking around outside and you can't really join them or anything. So there's a, a bit of a, a bit of a little bit of a loneliness, but I have, I live alone, so it's not too bad, you know? Um, so, um, I, 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 I sat out the two weeks. I, I was, uh, told to do the 10 days, but I did the 14 days just to, to, to be sure that I didn't have the virus in me when I went back into the population. Yeah, okay, well, we appreciate that, boy. Um, I heard uh, that, uh, you know, during your two weeks where you, where you were fully isolating, that was uh, Thanksgiving, Phil, in the middle of that, and I heard people reached out and made sure you didn't go without a, a bit of a Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, that was. Uh, I, I really appreciate that one. I had five uh, five uh, turkey dinners show up on my doorsteps. You know, besides uh, five, the a bottle of water, and uh, and uh, the town really came together and uh, and uh, made sure I was comfortable, including my chief, which I thank uh, personally. You know, he brought me a wonderful uh, uh, turkey dinner and bottle of waters and and uh, and other medicines that he had. So, you know, the, the town really pulled together, and I really uh, appreciate uh, the patience of the community during my ordeal there. Yeah. Which chief was that that brought it by? Um, our chief, Louis Balsoy. Yeah. 
Yeah, right on. Well, that's a nice story about uh, Fort Resolution making sure, you know, people are taken care of, that's for sure. Now, can take us back a little bit. I mean, you, we, we noted in the introduction that you're double vaccinated and that's part of your story. Like what, take us back into that and, and, and your values around vaccination and also then finding out that in spite of that, you, uh, you got a case. Yeah, I, I, I got my first uh, uh, shot in January of uh, this year and then my second shot in, uh, on March the 10th. And uh, when six months later, I contracted that disease. But I, I believe that if I wasn't vaccinated, I think I would have went for a, a pretty uh, rough ordeal because this disease can really, I think it could work on you if you're not prepared for it. And I was fortunate that my grandfather had prepared me for it. So it was quite, it, it could have been quite the ordeal. But, uh, you know, there's, if people want to know what, what, uh, what I use, you know, I, I don't mind telling the people, but they have to phone me personally, one on one, and I can tell them what what what's in that that medicine that I use. That's a combination. It's uh, it's uh, you should really know what you're doing if you're gonna start using a combination of herbs and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was gonna. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate you setting that boundary that you know, if people are interested, they can they can get in touch with you. And I'm struck. Tom, you know, and I, I, you know, on, I'm struck by the combination of, of the medicines and the, you know, the, the, the training or the, the knowledge that your, your grandfather passed to you and prepared you for this, the combination of that with the fact that you were double vaccinated and that you, you know, it obviously it wasn't easy to be on your own for 14 days, but that you went through it without physically suffering. Yeah, I was very fortunate. Uh, I was being monitored by the health people in Fort Resolution. They were calling me a couple of times a day to to uh, to monitor if I, I had any symptoms or anything. But uh, I, I couldn't uh, tell them that I was sick or anything because I wasn't. I wasn't feeling any of the symptoms that uh, that accom- accompanied the, the virus. I didn't have achy bones. I didn't have headaches. I didn't have sore chest or anything like that. Uh, my biggest problem was the loneliness, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Who, 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 what, when you broke the 14-day isolation, is there is there a story to who you got to hang out with or who, who was your first hug or anything like that? Well, my friends were also monitoring me. You know, the people that uh, I hang out with, there's a few of uh, my buddies, so they're, they're calling me every day to make sure I was comfortable and if I was in need of uh, uh, anything about water and stuff like that. So... Uh, when I came out of it, uh, you know, people were a little bit reluctant to, to be around me. I thought, you know, I was right. like an eagle. I was like an eagle flying to a flock of geese. You know, people were separating a little bit in front of me, but I think that was a uh, natural you know, reaction to it. Yeah. But I, I think I got rid of it in about four days. Okay. Why have you decided to share your story about? COVID and, and being upfront about, you know, that you were double vaccinated and that you used uh, traditional medicines that your grandfather taught you. Why, why have you decided to share all this? Well, I believe the, the cure is out there on the land. We, you know, we come from the land predominantly, you know, we're all people from the land. And, uh, you know, we left our medicines behind when we moved into a, a different world, you know. So the medicines are still out there, you know, and the people... I wanted to bring that to the people that, you know, we can cure ourselves. You know, we've done that for hundreds of years. You know, we lived, we lived through other pandemics using our, our uh, land medicine. So I think it's very important that the people should uh, understand that, you know, and uh, maybe start resorting to, the, to the, the medicines that's available on the land, you know. So I, I, I'm encouraging people to, to start looking at that. And I'm willing to help people if they want to call me. I, I'm willing to uh, to show the people how to cure themselves. Yeah, I ha- I heard I saw in your note too that uh, you're you're going for your booster shot if you haven't already. And so it seems too like you're, uh, y- you know, encouraging people to get vaccinated as well. I think it's very important to get vaccinated, no matter what what age you're at. You know. Uh, at the beginning, they said all the elders should do it. So, so um, 
I got vaccinated, but I think it's very important that that we have to vaccinate our people, you know, to, to protect them. You know, the impact from the, the COVID, should you get it, is lessened by the by the the, the, the vaccination. You know, if I, I didn't have that vaccination, I don't know if I'd be talking to you right now, you know? Hmm. So, well, I'm sure grateful that, that you are, and I saw photos of you with your grandkids and things like that, so... Um, yeah, this is a, it's a good story, uh, Tom, and I'm grateful that you're sharing it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. That was Tom Unka. He is uh, an elder. He's just gotten over uh, a bout of COVID-19. As you heard there, uh, I think generously sharing his story and the encouragement for others uh, to, to get vaccinated and also to uh, rely on and, and learn about uh, the healing you know, that's available on the land with some knowledge. Uh, And so right on. Really appreciate that.